Hi, I'm Holly, and today we're going to do a little bit of mindful movement to take care of our wrists. Um, so find a space that feels safe and supported for you and we'll get started. So taking care of wrists is actually something that's become quite important to me over the years. Um, about two years ago, I was in a biking accident and I broke three bones in my hand and wrist, my radius, my scaphoid, and my ulna. And I teach pottery and yoga for a living, so that was tremendously challenging. And um, I ended up having two surgeries because uh, some of the hardware was the wrong size that they put in in the first surgery. So a lot of my healing process became how I could modify my practice on the mat um, and behind the wheel to strengthen my wrist and other um, therapeutic exercises to regain that motion and strength. So we'll go over some of those today. Having wrist problems, particularly carpal tunnel, is more and more common in society today as we're typing at the desk all day. So wrist discomfort is incredibly common. Um, so if you're noticing that, you're not alone. And we'll give a few tips and tricks that you can use um, as a part of you know, your daily routine to take care of your wrists. So just settle in to a comfortable space and place your hands somewhere on your legs that feels safe. And you can gently gaze in front of you or rest the eyes. Just take three deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to heart. So when you do this, I want you to first try to push the palms into one another and try to make each fingertip meet up. Feel the knuckles ground, so push into the knuckles and the fingertips, push your elbows out. So your hands are really active here. You might not be able to get this like 90 degree angle, but just see where it goes for you. And take a few deep breaths. Good, now bring your elbows to meet one another while the hands are still together, and then hold your own hand. And really important is you want to keep the forearms together and try to roll your wrists around clockwise eight times. Trying to keep the forearms and elbows together. And then reverse it counterclockwise eight times. And then you can just shake out the wrists and drop them alongside. Good, inhale, bring your shoulders to your ears and exhale, drop them down the back. Now inhale, reach your arms out in front of you and then try to make like a stop sign with your right hand and my right wrist definitely has some limitation with this. That was my um, arm that was broken. So I want you to bring the left palm outside of the right and start to pull that right palm back. Try to keep the arm straight, but you can keep a gentle bend if you need. You can try to pull back from like the knuckles. And you can pull the fingers back, get a little stretch in the fingers as well. Good, now try to push that right hand forward and like curl the fingers in towards your body. You can bring the left hand to the top of the right or to the fingers. Good, and then just shake it out. Maybe roll out the shoulders. Take a deep breath. Good, and then the same thing, other side. So reach the left hand out in front of you, like a stop sign. You can bring the right hand to the left and, and pull it back. Maybe you pull the fingers back and then you can 
push it forward. So curl those left fingers in towards your body. Maybe the hand comes on top of the top of the left hand or towards those fingers. Notice how the sensation changes. Good, and then just shake it out. Good, inhale, bring your shoulders to your ears and exhale, drop them down the back. Inhale, reach the hands out in front of you, hold your own hands again and this time turn the hands outward, curl the chest, gaze towards your navel and then exhale, bring the hands behind the back to hold one another, bring the shoulder blades together, drop the head. Good, inhale, hands clasp in front of you, the spine arches. Exhale, bring the hands behind the back, the shoulder blades together, drop the head. Inhale. And exhale. Good, inhale, bring it back to center your shoulders to your ears. And then exhale, drop them down the back. Um, now find your way to a tabletop position. And bring your hands under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. And spread really wide in your fingers. So I, I always say um, spread your fingers wide like starfish and ground down through the knuckles and the fingertips. So really pushing down through the knuckles and the fingers, that should help protect the wrists. This can be a lot on wrists and for some people it might just not be there right now. So if it's too much, you can um, come on to your, uh, sit on your heels and do the same exercises with your hands beside you so it's not so much weight on the wrist. And also just a modification in general for yoga classes is you can come onto the forearms or the fists if that tabletop is uncomfortable. But for now we want to get a little motion in the wrists. So spread your fingers wide, drown down through the knuckles and fingers, whether you're on the heels or in a table. And I want you to roll around in circles clockwise eight times. And I know that I feel this way more in my right wrist than my left. Good, and then reverse it. Take eight circles counterclockwise. Good, and then point the fingers in towards your body. You can roll around clockwise eight times. And then counterclockwise. I realized my count was off and I was doing four <laughs> instead of eight. So if you did what I did, do four more. <laughs> Good, now bring your fingers to face in towards one another and just rock side to side. Get and then turn them out, side to side. Good, now reach the hands out in front of you, bend the knees, send the sits bones back. Give your wrists a break. Come to child's pose. So you can either rest your belly on top of your thighs or you can widen the legs a little, let your belly fall in between the thighs. And just take a few breaths here. Good, and then slowly walk your hands in towards your knees. Lift your torso up and bring your hands to the tops of the knees. And then inhale, drop your belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, arch your spine, gaze towards the navel. Now I want you to just hold your right hand with your left and just check in. Notice how that right hand feels. And then you're gonna use the left thumb to gently like point or push down at roughly seven points from the heel of your palm to the tip of your hand. 
um, to the tip of your finger. So we'll do it for each finger. We'll go from the heel of the palm to the tip of the thumb, heel to tip of the pointer finger, middle, ring, and pinky. This is kind of like a little bit of acupressure for your hand. So just notice how the hand feels and then starting at the heel of the right hand, roughly seven times, it doesn't have to be exactly seven, pinch up that right thumb, then from the heel to the pointer finger. I think it's really interesting to just notice where you feel different sensation. Heel to the middle finger. Heel to the ring finger. Heel to pinky finger. And then tense your fist and then just shake it out. And then just rest the right hand on the leg and just take a moment to pause and notice how it feels. And then we're gonna do the same thing to our left hand. So hold the left hand with your right and from the heel to the tip of each finger, you're gonna pinch roughly seven times, starting with the thumb. Good, working up one finger at a time, just noticing what's there. And then you can tense up that left wrist and then shake it out and shake out both the hands. Maybe roll out the shoulders, the neck. And then just place the palms so they're facing upwards on the knees. And take three deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. One more. Good, and then just take a moment to observe how your body and your mind feel now. Just note if it's any different from when we began. And then just feel really proud of yourself for taking a few minutes to care for your body and your wrists today. And then you can slowly open your eyes and return to this space. And as you move through the rest of your day, you know, if any of those techniques felt good, feel free to do them at any time during your day. Um, and I hope that your wrists start to feel a little bit better, more flexible, stronger over time. Um, and I look forward to getting on the mat with you again soon.